Hey guys, hope you're doing alright today. I got a quick tip I just wanted to share with you. Uh, you may have seen it on YouTube. Uh, I'm fixing to go down to the coast, as I mentioned in, my, in one of the other videos, uh, from the inshore tackle video actually. Um, and I got a quick tip on gulp uh, baits. Um, basically, whenever you get these gulp baits, and I've got some packs here, uh, as you can notice, there's liquid in them. That liquid, uh, you know, you can buy it in uh, rechargeable packs. I've got a couple of these uh, to keep. But, you know, you can pour these in this pack, that, that solution in this pack, and keep your baits, you know, nice and lively. Because if not, if you don't remember to take these things off your bait, or off your hook, jig, whatever, at the end of the day, uh, they're pretty much going to turn out like this. Uh, this is one that I purposely left out um, to just to show you what happens to them. They pretty much get rock solid. I mean, they, they, they're hard. And if you do leave them on your hook, uh, till the next morning or so, you get ready to go out fishing again. You're gonna have to cut these things off your hook with a knife because they are they won't come off very easily. So uh, just just keep that in mind. Uh, you always want to take these gulp baits, no matter what kind they are, off the off your hook, and either put them back in in here in in your in your bag, whatever they come out of. Uh, or I've got another tip. Uh, this is this is what I want to show you. Um, I take a jug just like this right here, and I fill it with this solution. And I'm gonna do this right now. I'm gonna put some more in here because I've got several other. I've got several bags here. This you know just got a few in it that I'm just gonna pour in here. The colors don't mix. So, I mean, that you, can, you can tell by what's in here right now. I'll try to get a picture of that. That the colors of the baits have not mixed any. Uh, they're all still just as they was when I took them out of the pack. I mean, I wouldn't throw these baits away. That's, 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 that's the point I'm trying to make. Uh, don't throw these baits away, even if you've got some that's messed up a little bit. Because, you know, you can, use, you can use these baits as trailers. Put little pieces on your hook. If you're using a bucktail or something like that, just pinch off a little piece, a piece of one. Uh, here's one that's messed up. The tail's messed up. You know, you can take and pinch a little bit of this off and use it use it as a scent for your uh, for your baits. So uh, whatever kind of baits you may be using. So um, I'm gonna pour some more of this in here. Get back this back there. We can see. Okay, get quite a bit of liquid in there. And I'm just going to take and start chunking these things in here. These things take up a lot of room in my tackle bag, so it's just easier to pull this out, reach down, grab whatever color or whatever you want. Uh, and if you have used them a little bit, they got a you know a hook, a tear in it from a hook or something like that, or a jig. You know you can uh, you can throw them in here. Some of the, I mean these these are all good. I mean there's nothing wrong with these. These have enough in it you know solution in it uh to to work just fine now some of these right here has gotten dried out i'll show you these these are the mullet they're not too bad but they are you can see by the tail is getting and the body's pretty hard so the solution is dried up in these this right here is pretty bad so this right here will make them where they're nice and soft again. And 
and that way it won't take up a lot of space in your tackle bag or whatever. I, I, I keep this in my boat, or if I'm on the kayak, I put it on the kayak and, and fish like that. So. Now, I'm gonna take this little hard one right here and put it in there. And after it sets a few hours, maybe a day or so, I'm not sure, I never really tested it, but I know I know I can I can take one off, and after you know a day or so later, it, it is nice and soft, and you're able to use it again. So just take the cap, put it back on it, and you got several baits in there that's uh, you, that you can use later on, even if they are tore up. You got them all in there. So, guys, that's all I got. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching the video. Y'all take care, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, watching the video.